What's up guys? So many of you guys already know that I've been having issues with the brakes on my Tundra. The pedal is extremely soft and it's like the brakes aren't even there. So you have to push the pedal like basically to the floor before it even starts to engage. I've replaced the master, I checked the lines, I've replaced the drums, the shoes, and even the hardware. And even after replacing all of that, I still haven't had any results. Like, it still feels exactly the same. I will say though that the drums and shoes were really bad looking. They just were, they were pretty old, pretty rusty, and one of the drums was cracked. So they needed to be replaced anyway. So the only thing that leads me to is that it is the calipers in the front. Now I just started hearing a noise coming from the passenger side caliper. It's like a squealing noise, but it's not the sound of a squealer, if you know what I mean. So I'm thinking maybe there's something stuck in it, I'm not sure, so I'm gonna have to check them out today. And hopefully I can find the issue because this is getting really annoying, the fact that I can't really drive my truck, I can't really tow anything with it because I don't have brakes. So, and it really sucks when somebody cuts you off, and here in Chicago, people cut each other off a lot. So I'm also going to replace my spark plugs today because the plugs, I'm sure, haven't been replaced. The truck's running fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I just replaced the timing belt and the water pump, so all that is new. It had never been replaced either. It was still the OEM. The truck has 120,000 miles on it. Some people just don't take care of their stuff, and it's really sad especially with the toyota these things can run forever you just got to take care of them just like any car if you take care of it it will run forever so please excuse the dirty engine bay i have not cleaned it since i got the truck and um yeah i've been focused on trying to get it um solid so that i can tow things and you know just drive it as a normal truck all right i'm gonna go change into something else and then head out So right now we are on our way to go get some tools from Harbor Freight. We're just getting a socket so that I can take my wheels off. Because Harbor Freight is the place to go. So yeah.
turns out that the rotor had a small crack in it as if it like wasn't properly seated or something and the noise that I was hearing was just a piece of rust that was hitting it because they're super rusty. I removed the caliper and I saw a chunk of the piston missing which could be part of the issue. Obviously it's not supposed to be like that but uh, I kind of don't think that was the problem. I think the problem was where the brake pads were sitting they weren't able to slide because they were grooved in so bad there's just so much stuff in there that they're not able to move so the pads look like they were fine but I don't think they were doing anything like that's the whole reason I couldn't stop is because the pads were not doing anything so I'm probably just gonna upgrade the both the calipers obviously get new rotors and pads and just go with new everything because I'm I'm really done with this I'm done with this whole trying to figure out what's wrong with my brakes thing. At that point, I'll have new calipers, new rotors, new pads, and then obviously I'll have my new drums, my new shoes, and all the new hardware. So I shouldn't have any issues after that. Oh yeah, and, and my new master cylinder. There shouldn't be anything else that this truck needs. Like it should be able to stop. And if it doesn't, then honestly I am out of ideas and I don't know what else it is. So I'll let you guys know like what happened. Hopefully the soft pedal issue goes away. Hopefully my truck will be able to stop a lot better. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.